Hello everyone, welcome back. Praise God. Uh, this is actually the second video today. Today is March the 19th, 2018, Monday. And I I did a video earlier and I had this, this pressing of an update of the second video and I wasn't sure if I was going to share it with you all. Um, but then I got even more information and it was like the Lord is saying, get this out, get this out now. The information is now. So, okay, so I kind of said, all right, I'm going to go ahead and do this. So uh, please forgive the second video today. Um, but it, it does feel important. Now, uh, I'm leaving you with this icon of this image uh, just so it'll make it easier for you to find um, the original dream as well as a link down below. Okay, to sum it all up, I had a dream about a criminal and a police chief and the criminal was caught quite easily and the police chief, instead of taking the, the criminal into the station and booking him and t taking him to the court and all that, you know, the proper proceeding, this, this chief gave him a kindness and took him to, I want to say like a safe house or it was like a home and I could see furniture and, and there was a kitchen and a kitchen table it was a home and uh, lots of police walking around, a lot of, um, what do they call them, ununiformed police and also some uniformed police officers and he had two with him and his hands were in cuffs and he was tall oh my gosh he was is almost as tall as the top or, or or taller than but I mean almost as tall as the ceiling but uh, tall as the patio door he was very tall and his hands were behind him he had darker features and his hair was slicked back and uh, she said you know we need the information and for you to sign the papers and uh, he the the police chief was quite smaller um, and a female and she was wearing she had short black hair and a blue pullover shirt and blue jeans and her sidearm and he kind of looked around he's like well um, I, th I want you to feed me I want food and she kind of looked around she's like oh okay well I guess you know yeah, she's being kind she's giving him a kindness so she asked one of the or it was you know how dreams are so one of the policemen that was with assigned to the criminal went into the kitchen and started making uh, food for him in a skillet and it looked like eggs well it didn't look like eggs but in my mind I said eggs so he sat down at the kitchen table and his hands came to the front, so I guess they moved his cuffs to the front. And he's still not running away or trying to get away or arguing or nothing. He's just really um, muted, you know, just kind of sitting there. And then the police officer put the plate in front of him. And these egg it didn't look like eggs. They looked like grits or cornmeal or something, but it was dark. Like the, there was a gravy, brown, something was on. It didn't look there was something wrong with him didn't look quite right and he was just gobbling it up and I was there and I had a child I was holding the child and the child was in wrapped in a blanket I, um, I want to say under a year old with brown hair sleeping and the police came over and she took a glance at the baby and uh, you know kind of gave me a smile it's like oh beautiful like you know the expression was like oh you know baby and then she went back to the criminal and she's, uh, she's like, you need to give us information and sign the papers. She went over to the back patio and was like frustrated, like, oh, this guy, you know, looking out the window. And it, I can see there was like a courtyard and people. And that could have been like my house because I wasn't a police officer and I wasn't involved in all that. So they might have just been in my home. And I was expecting another child. Um... So they, uh, let's see, I have to remember. Uh, so he was sitting at the table and he's getting like plate and plate after food of these quote unquote eggs. And finally, I have my second child and she had blonde hair and she was tiny. She was wearing a purple shirt and I think a red skirt or something, real small. And I said, she has blonde hair. And when I was a child, I had blonde hair too. And the police chief came over and looked at the baby and she said, oh, she's beautiful. 
went back to the criminal and got really close to his face and was really frustrated. Oh, I missed a part. Sorry, before the frustration part. Um, she was standing at the, when she was standing at the window looking out, thinking, you know, oh, this guy, she had a thought to herself and I wrote it down. She was thinking in her mind, I'm being too nice. Time is now. And then she turned around to confront him and that's when she, she talked to me about the baby. And, um, uh, an army person or a, excuse me a military person walked in with a uniform on and they had a day glow vest like if they rode a motorcycle or they're like crowd control or something but I could see this day glow vest and they walked in and hand him, handed the police chief some papers the papers she looked at and she looked in like infuri like infuriated she just oh my gosh and then she started pacing like a wild animal and her whole personality changed and she's like it was like this was it so she turned to confront the criminal she got really close to his face and like like not whispering in his ear but talking directly into his ear and his face was straight and she said let's see let me go to my notes um let's see i apologize i want to make sure i get it right oh she said you need to do what i need you to do your time is running out and he says your people need to go to the store and get more food because they're running out and I want more and then um, oh, and then I had the other child I apologize uh, then she looks at the criminal and she says uh, you were supposed to his face you were supposed to give us the information and sign the papers and when I heard papers I heard treaty so she said you were supposed to give us the information and sign the paper treaty by August 1st and you didn't and now it's going to go down in court I believe um, at that time I saw 906 and I had a vision about 906 in another video that I had shared um, where I saw 906 and it started to spin and I heard 906 is 906 is 906 and I had that same number pop up in this dream okay Ooh, sorry <laughs> to rush through that again I'm sorry I gave you the the fast version of this but I um, just wanted to give you a background before the update Okay, so this is what the Lord pressed on me today. Uh, let's see. The criminal is Satan. Satan was Lucifer in heaven. And then he went against God and took 300 angels with him. I believe the number is 300. And I apologize if I get that wrong. Um, but he took the, the angels with him and they fought against Michael and then they were, they were defeated and cast down. So criminal Satan. Um, I believe the police chief represented Jesus and she came in as the lamb because she showed him kindness to try to get to talk to him and the reason he was so calm and didn't fight being caught and also taken to the safe house and talked to is because he knows his time is very short and he um, like almost to the end and he wasn't fighting but he was stalling he was stalling because he didn't sign the papers that he was supposed to sign by August 1st, which I, I don't know what August 1st means, except for it could be 8-1, August 1st, 81, maybe it's a numerical thing, and I'm not a numeral, numerical person uh, as far as uh, Strong's or the Bible, I don't know the numbers. So anyway, but August 1st, he didn't sign, he stalled. Um, and then also he asked for eggs and I think the eggs and please forgive my crudeness because it is kind of crude but I, the eggs could have represented life and those are the lives that he was taking to sustain himself so he could stay a little bit longer which is awful and I apologize it's a dream but I don't know if it represents um, the way the world is today and it, it could but I, I just want to give it to you the way I was understanding the message today Okay, um, the second thing was, um, or the next thing was the military person that came in with a day glow um, vest. He was in a military uniform wearing a vest 
like a breastplate and the uniform could be like a soldier like a like a archangel or something who was bringing these papers bringing the word possibly of God to Jesus and once he got that word maybe those God like was letting Jesus know in my dream his time is up is because that's what she says your your time is up um, let's see if I can backtrack she says um, Let's see, time is now. So maybe what that, and then she was pacing back and forth. Um, so the message that she received was like, okay, you had your chance with them. You're, you're, you were the lamb. Now I think the police chief turned from the lamb to the lion and started to roar. And that's why I saw the pacing and the frustration and the, at her demeanor changed and she confronted him and got into his ear and said you need to do what we need you to do because time is up that was it um yes and then he was demanding more food he just wanted to be sustained a little bit longer to stay a little bit longer you know it's like a child you know they never want to leave a fun place uh they want to be at they always want to stay a little longer um willful and he's being willful that's what i'm looking for amen thank you lord so that's what I think this is all getting to. Now, my having a child and then have giving birth to another child only makes me think of um, Revelation 12 with the woman with the stars. But I had two children, so I don't know. So I, I don't know exactly what that meant. And I didn't get a lot of um, feeling of that. It was just mostly the police chief and the criminal that the Lord pressed on me today. The last thing that he, uh, the Lord pressed on me about all this was um, the. Oops, sorry. Um, let's see. Sorry about that. Um, if he wasn't signing the paper, oh, he didn't sign the paper and her treaty. And the only thing I can think of is I did this video before because I did this February, this dream, the original dream, February. 24th excuse me and this was before the announcement of the American treaty that they were trying to set up for the peace talks with Jared Kushner um, that they're doing right now so I, the only thing I can think of is this is a time marker to say okay we're in alignment and this is kind of a time marker as where we are with his word but I, I'm, I don't know. But I do know that the treaty was said in the dream. And the last thing was... Um, the, the I apologize. I'm so excited with all this information. The last thing was the information. He said, when you need to sign the papers, the treaty, and the information needed. I think the information is the names of the demons because we're supposed to, we receive their name, sorry, we receive their name of the demon and we cast them out. So like Legion, once once we got um, Legion's name, he was able to be casted out and uh, they asked if they could be all Legion of many, could be casted into the pig and then the pig, he was casted into the pig and the pig destroyed himself into the water into the sea um so so maybe the lord was asking satan for the names of his demons so they could be casted out and that was the impression that i got okay i'm gonna wrap this up <laughs> it's a lot of information <laughs> okay so i uh, love bringing this all to you and the Lord would not I can still feel him kind of now I can feel it in my ear again um, but the Lord was pressing on to me today that this is information that he wants to share with all of you and that he really wanted to um, express that this could be the the end for the devil the devil's at his end and he knows it and the kindness of the lamb is going to turn into the lion of Judah. Amen. Whew. I love you all. And God loves you more. And we just need to know where we are as far as the Bible goes. So we're made, made ready and not found wanting. I love you all.
God loves you more. And I do have a scripture. One more. Okay. Acts 1, 8, New King James Version. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judah and Sumeria and to the end of the earth. And I love that. Um, God bless you all. And, and I pray, please pray over this and pray over the information. And if the devil is a defeated foe, as we know it, he knows it too. And his time is just about done. His hands are in cuffs. He is trying to scrape up the last bit of energy he can get while he's still here. And it's time for him to go. And the Lion of Judah is going to get him out of here. And he's going. Praise God. I love you all. And please take care.